Should you get a Node Red server? Hey, come on, it's only a fiver. Of course you should. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. This is the first video in a series about getting started with Node-RED. But before we gonna jump into the Node-RED itself and how to use it, I wanna talk about why you should care about having a Node-RED server or server architecture itself. And the best way to explain it is probably with some examples. In my examples, I'm running a Node-RED server on Raspberry Pi Zero, which is brilliant for that. And I'm gonna show you what's the difference between having a server, dedicated server to handle your tasks and uh, creating that extra step of inconvenience and why it's worth it, versus running your tasks or commands directly from one device to another. So let me show you an example. Let's talk about ad hoc versus server and why do you need a server? Now, first of all, if you just wanted to do one thing, you don't need a server. But uh, we're talking about home automation and you soon realize that you want to do this and that and that. And that's fine. And this is when you're probably going to need a server. And my recommendation is no address server and I'll explain it why. First of all, Wake on LAN, which is an app on the phone for Android and you can turn on the PC. So while the, while the PC behind me is turning on, I'll explain that uh, this message has been sent from the phone directly to the PC behind me. There was no middle person uh, there and it works and it's great uh, but there is a few disadvantage of that first of all you're only limited to one device uh, otherwise you have to go through entire setup again and you can't do stuff like this this is an old red button and you cannot have a wake on lan uh, on it if you want to read more about wake on lan that's fine uh, the link is here for you but i've pressed the button and uh, in a second my computer is going to go to sleep because I've issued a request to my server. Server checked what computer is doing. Computer was up. So he decided to put the computer to sleep. Now, once the computer is to sleep, I can do the exact opposite thing with the same button. So when I press the button, my computer is gonna go online in a second. And that's the sound of it powering up. So this is the first advantage. You can hook up a different devices. The linking up another button another toggle on the mobile. It's that easy. All I have to do is just send the same type of request. That's all. Now, what is the second advantage? I have a Yeelight here. Yeelight is a Wi-Fi lamp. I reviewed this previously. You can read about it here. It's awesome. And it has a third-party support, which is great. Now, in order to operate Yeelight in a more traditional commercial sense, I need to use a server which is located and US, China, or wherever Yeelight has their server located right now. And to turn it on and off again, I press here, and it sends the request to the servers elsewhere and then passes the request back and does its own thing. Now, I had no internet for the last few days and it was really painful because a lot of these commercially available products aren't really equipped to deal with the fact that they are flying. But if you've got an old red server, what you have to do is just press the button on the dashboard, this is a different button. And in a second, I've got my light back again. So if your internet goes down or third party service go down, you have a backup solution, locally deployed node red server. And that's brilliant. And this is why you should have a node red server. I guess by now you should really want to have a node red server. If you don't, uh, well, I probably won't change your mind. But if you do, uh, get a Raspberry Pi Zero. It, the power use, it's very small and an old red need to be run 24 seven. So uh, this is one of the factors uh, to be taken into consideration. You can obviously run it uh, on different devices if you want to. You can have it on a dedicated PC, uh, Linux machine or whatever. It's up to you. My advice is use something small like this uh, because it's powerful enough to handle your old red requests and won't take much power. Now, if you're interested in uh, tutorials about the Yeelight and Awake on LAN, I did. These are already on my website, so I'm going to link them in the description for you. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, 
this video is the first video in a series on how to start with Node-RED. So this is for beginners and we're gonna go through setting everything up, learning how to process data, learning how to deal no uh, with nodes and how to create interesting setups. Uh, because uh, I know this has been requested for some time and uh, I've got a couple of nice Node-RED profiles for you that you can use. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And uh, follow me on social media if you want to get uh, notified about these videos. Uh, also, you know, uh, YouTube has a notification uh, button, so use that if you want to get notified when the next video is up. And uh, I guess I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.